good times. Woohoo! The big day was finally here. Today was the Krusty Krabs in Center anniversary. I have so much great memories of the Krusty Krab. I told Gary. Love our first bite. I remember my first Krabby Patty. This was before I was even born. Mom and Dad were looking for a place to eat. How about this place? Dad asked as we stopped in the front stopped in the front of the Krusty Krab. What do you think, baby? Mom said. She didn't have to ask me twice. What do you like to eat? Mom asked. I looked down through her belly button at the menu boy. Quabby party, I said. It was the most amazing thing I ever tasted. It was love at first bite. On my way to work, I spotted an old Krabby Patty wrapper. It reminded me of the first time I saw the Krusty Krab on TV. A sack full of Krabbies. I was sitting in the front of the TV. Suddenly, Krabby Pies popped on the screen. They swirled around until the catchy song. Bye, 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 the song said. Then, Mr. Krabs appeared dressed like a doctor. Go out and get a sack of full of Krabbies, he said. They are good for your health. Soon after, I got to go to the Krusty Krab again. Mom and Dad got us a whole tray of Krabby Patties. I took one bite and my stomach jumped for joy. Mr. Krabs' first bite, Krabby Patties are good for you. At the Krusty Krab, Mr. Krabs was very excited. He was expecting a lot of people to show up at the restaurant. Today is a big day, said Mr. Krabs. I want everyone to look out for Plankton. He had a feeling Plankton would try to steal the Krabby Pie recipe on this special day. Aye, aye, sir, I replied. It's, it's up to us to keep the Krabby Pie recipe safe, I said. That reminds me of the day you told me the secret recipe, Mr. Krabs. A dream of come true. One day, Mr. Krabs was Mr. Krabs called me into his office. He was going to share the Krabby Patty recipe, but first we had to go in where no one would hear us. First, Mr. Krabs led me outside. We crossed a busy street. We walked and walked. Soon we reached the edge of the bikini bottom. Still, we kept walking. We had through a jungle. Then we marched across a desert. Next, we crossed an old rope bridge. We walked until my feet hurt. I was getting tired, but finally we came back to the Krusty Krab. What? said Squidward. Squidward said, You and Mr. Krab just walked in a big circle. That is crazy. No, it was the best day of my life, I said. I learned the secret recipe. It was a fry cook's dream of come true. Well, my dream came come true was the day you moved to Bikini Bottom, said <laughs> I replied. I know you are glad I moved here. Love, love your neighbor. I'll never forget today I moved to Bikini Bottom, I said. I looked at a lot of houses, but none of them felt like home. I was very sad. Then, the most incredible thing happened. A pineapple fell from the sky and landed right to, next to Squidward's house. Then I met Patrick. You two were my new neighbors, and now I am glad to say that you were my friends. The wedding. Hey, remember, remember when I married Sandy? I asked my friends. I recall that day so clearly. Sandy walked toward me wearing a beautiful white dress. She looked so pretty. SpongeBob. 
Do you take Sandy as your wife? The wedding official asked. I do, I replied. Sandy, do you take SpongeBob as your husband? He asked Sandy. Sure enough, she said. I now pronounce you Sponge and Squirrel. The wedding official said. I leaned in to give Sandy a big kiss. It <laughs> bumped my nose on her helmet. It turned out that Wendy was just part of the play, but that was the best row I ever had. We all besides the row of fried cook at the Krusty Krab. Later, Mr. Krabs opened the doors to a restaurant full of happy customers. Ah, uh, the Krusty Krab. It's the home of good food, good friends, and good times, I told Patrick. Happy anniversary. I love it really. Seven of the anniversary, Krusty Krab. The end.